disposal. In urban and peri-urban areas, discarded plastic bags block sewages and drainages, causing severe floods and causing severe floods during rainy seasons. When plastics reach the ocean, they degrade and are eaten by fish and eventually end up on our lunch and dinner plates. To address plastic pollution, several initiatives have been undertaken globally, including the UN Clean Seas Campaign, which started in 2017, which urges the global community to legislate regulations on managing plastics. I am pleased to announce that Kenya has made considerable progress in this regard. The government banned the manufacture, use, and importation of plastic carrier bags and flat bags last year in an effort to curb plastic waste. We are not rescinding this plan, this plan and I urge all corporate and industry players, as well as the people of Kenya, to embrace and exploit alternative packaging materials, as well as recycling and reusing to minimize wastage. Ni kauli ya naibu wa rais William Ruto hapo ambaye alikuwa anaongea katika hafla rasmi iliyofanyika katika kaunti ya Kwale ambapo tupo ni hafla iliyofanyika katika bustani ya baraza uh, mapema hii leo akiwa uh, na viongozi wengine kutoka Pwani uh, awali pia alikuwa katika shule ya msingi ya Kwale ambapo aliongoza shughuli ya kupanda miti akiwa uh, naye waziri wa masuala ya mazingira Kiria Kutubiko ili kuendeleza mjadala na mpisha mwanzo Alimanzo Asante sana na shukran sana kwa watazamaji wetu ambao wanaotupata hivi sasa pamoja na wageni ambao tuko nao hapa. Baadhi ya maswali ambayo mmeweza kuuliza nitasema ni maswali ya mambo ambayo yanaendelea katika mitaa ambayo mnaoishi na vile vile ni changamoto ambazo tunazopambana nazo katika kuhakikisha kwamba hii marufuku inatumika vema kabisa. Na kama mmoja hapa alivyosema kwamba marufuku yenyewe ndio serikali itabuni sera. Sera ambazo zinakuwa ni madhubuti sana kwa taifa lakini ili hizo sera zipate kutumiwa vema na tuhitaji mimi na wewe ili kuhakikisha kwamba tunatekeleza kile kinachohitajika hivi sasa kwenye sehemu hii ambayo tunaoendelea nitataka kusikia ama tunaangalizia sasa ni njia zipi bora za kufuatwa zaidi ili kuweza kuimarisha kile ambacho tunachozungumzia hii leo na kuhifadhi mazingira ambayo tunayoishi nayo kwa kizazi cha leo na hata vizazi vijavyo labda nikianza na daktari Muli katika yale masuala ya recommendations and solutions umesikia mengi hapa yametajwa na ni changamoto ambazo zinamhusu manake Caroline pale alizungumzia swala la zile diapers za watoto njia ya kuweza kuzikabili vilivyo bila kuathiri mazingira si mazingira tu tunaoishi bali pia nakuta wanyama mara nyingi mbwa ametaja pale na mnambavo inavuathiri na vitu kama hivyo ni ipi njia sawa na ufaa kufuatwa ili kuhakikisha sote tunasonga pamoja anayetengeneza sheria hapa ama zile sera wewe kama mmoja wale ambao ni wana mazingira kuona kwamba sote tunasonga mbele na jamii kwa ujumla good uh, wacha niseme hivi hii shida tuko nayo saa hii si shida ya Kenya peke yake Europe uh, it is a Europe and I want to call German walikuwa na shida kama hizi uh, back 1930s 1920s walikuwa wanakaa perhaps walikuwa wanakaa mali kama hapa wakiongezwa CKTN maybe wakijiongoza wakijadiliana ni vipi wanaweza fanya so one thing we have to know is si shida ya Kenya hii shida ni ya ulimwengu number one. number two, walifanya nini waliona hii ni shida we watakuwa nayo so what they did is this incentive ilipeanwa ya kwanza kuonyeshana alternatives solution kwa vile vitu tunahitaji kwa kuensure our environment is protected and one of it is to ensure technology is used uh, people come up with other solutions alternative kuleta vitu kama viondo uh this made from sisos vitu kama hizo tuko na palm trees hapa ipwani yote palm trees inazata tumika kutengeneza masani tusitumie masani ya plastic kwa hivyo ile mali Mungu ametupea imetosha kwa kuensure tumepata alternative ya kila kitu kwa hivyo solution tuko nazo 
So incentive last summer to pay away. Last summer to party alternative. And and mungu akomba akomba inchi to jazem fit kama plastic ambao sina chukua almost 1000 years to just to perish. So we have to wake up and this is the time we need to wake up. Asante sana daktari. Lili nitakuja kwako baadaye mwisho mwisho maana nataka kusikia mnafanya nini katika sehemu ambayo inatuathiri sasa ya bahari. Lakini daktari Moniki Mkenya sasa pale anajiuliza ni mbinu gani zaidi tunaweza zitumia ili kuhakikisha kwamba uchafu ambao tunaotoa hautolewi nje kwenda kuchafua mazingira bali kuna labda asasi ama kuna treaties industries za kisasa zinapokea uchafu ule na kuona ni vipi wanatengeneza vitu zaidi ambavyo vitakuwa vinarudi tena kwenye soko na kutumiwa majumbani na vitu kama hivyo tunazo industries kama hizi ama tunao uwezo kama huu kama taifa kusonga mbele um. Sorry, mzuri sana. In fact, sisi kama Netfund, one of our biggest problem, uh, programs, tunauliza wa Kenya, what are those ideas you have za kusofu shida zenye tuko nazo saa hii? Uh, kama tuseme uh, kwa plastiki, tunauliza wa Kenya, kuna mtu wamefikiria kaidia ambayo tuneza chukua to turn into businesses ya kurecycle in plastics. And I have to tell you the amazing ideas with the Kenyans, uh, it's just amazing. Uh, when we issued that call sometimes last, uh, the year before last, uh, we received almost 13,000 entries, people with great ideas. And out of these 13,000, uh, around 10 of them were ideas on how to recycle plastics. There are some gentlemen who is anachukua waste plastics, na waste bottles, and a mix pamoja, anatengeneza tiles, za kuza sakafu. Mungine anatengeneza tiles za, za roofing, mungine anatengeneza fencing post. So, na how watu wenye wakona hizo idea, sisi kama Netfund, tunawatafuta, tukiwapata, tunawachukua, tunapeleka through a business incubation process. Pale mwisho kabisa, tunawapaptia pesa kidogo, wana establish biashara, na tunawachilia. So, so far, kama Netfund, tumekirita around 6,000 green jobs. Na some of those green jobs ni kurecycle plastics. So, mimi kitu moja ningesema, wa Kenya si shida tu, sisi wenyewe hapa hapa nchini, tukona solutions za hizo shida. Mm -hmm. Na kama kuna mwananchi anatazama za hina, kuna idea solution ya plastiki, ama hini environmental issues, uh, aende kwa mtandao wetu, kwa internet, atuandikia email, atuambia iyo idea, sisi tunaweza mchukua na tufanya iyo idea, iwe biashara. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, the other thing ni... Mwananchi wa kawaida ukienda kesho kukunywa soda ukipewa straw mwambie tafadhali staki straw nipe glassi ama nitakunywa na chupa hapo ndio tunaweza reduce um, uh, pollution pale pale kwenye inaanzia aha yeah. asante sana mtazamaji kama unavyofahamu pia tuna wasimamizi kutoka shirika la neema mwenyekiti wa bodi hapa John Conchela bila shaka ameingia hivi sasa labda kukumalizia malizia way forward hapa kumetajwa matatizo mengi sana licha ya kwamba juhudi za neema zimeonekana katika kuhakikisha kwamba hii marufuku inatumika vilivyo lakini tunakwenda sambamba na jinsi hali ilivyo hususan katika maeneo ya jamii na ni njia zipi bora za kujimarisha zaidi katika swala hili la haya marufuku Asante sana ya kwanza ni kushukuru wa Kenya kwa support walitupa Iyo kaset notice deadline ilipofika waliabide kwa sheria na kuachana na mambo ya plastic bags. Tulikuwa na support kubwa kwa mana wana Kenya walitu... Walichukua iyo kama they took it seriously na tukawana ya kwamba wana Kenya ni watu wa kuaburu, kuobey sheria. E, tuko na challenge na hiyo kiongea mambo ya plastics ukimaliza plastic carrier bags na bado una plastic bottles that remains a challenge na hakuna namna ya kumaliza plastics ila kumaliza plastic zote both carrier bags na bottles lakini ha hivi karibuni tuliandikiana memorandum ya understanding na manufacturers wa plastic bottles wa waanzishe a take back scheme kwa maana shida tuliyoko naye ni hizi chupa ambayo zinatolewa na maji iki, mtu akikunywa maji anasirusha tu na sinapata njia ya kufika kwa awalan mambo ya bahari ama mali kwenye maji ama vitu kama hizo na tunasema ya kwamba Lasima tutupate nafsa na, na jinsi tutengeneza na jinsi ya kurecycle. 
is on much part. So the tech back scheme, it uh, it and see to to manage a tech back scheme and by it uh recycle is on much part. Ili to and see if it is in Gina by in a talker because what you pan resource. Waki recycle one as a kuto a mampo ya fencing posts, vitu zingine kama viti, all, all sort of, uh, the circular economy, we, uh, they call it a circular economy. We want to embrace the circular economy itu tatulie yo shida ambayo tukonae ya mambo ya plastic bottles. Ili tu, 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 tu tatue yo shida mara moja. Na maali kuna shida, tuko na hotline, incident, tunasema nema incident hotline. Ndiyo. Tukependa wana Kenya, wachukue hii namba ili wakiona mtu yote ambaye anachafua mazingira yetu atupigie ili tuchukue hatua mara moja aha 0786 101 100 0786 101 100 hii ndio incident hotline ya Ukipata mtu ambaye anachafua masingira ama Ndiyo. ukiwa na jambo lolote ambaye inahusu plastic bags na plastic bottles Aha. utuambie. Asante sana nitairudilia hiyo namba baadaye lakini hatuwezi maliza mahojiano haya bila kutambua ufa, uwepo wake Isaac Kalua mwana mazingira pia labda utupe mawili matatu kwa ufupi tukumalizia mahojiano ndo tufunge. Asante sana kuwepo kwangu hapa na mwenyekiti wa Nema ni mwanzo wa kubadilisha jinsi tunavyofanya mambo katika nchi yetu ya Kenya. Manake mashirika yanakosa kufanya kazi kwa pamoja na hiyo kufanya huo kufanya kazi pamoja kunaanza na viongozi wetu. Shida tulioko nayo ya wana Kenya hasa kama tungelikuwa tumefanya kazi ya plastiki kuweza kutokuwepo katika kutumika na mwananchi hawangelitumia Kwa hivyo kazi nyingine nyingi tunawapa wananchi wa Kenya ni kazi ambayo tungelifanya na kudeal na mashirika ambayo ya na produce na, na kuwezesha shirika kama nema tukiungana mashirika yote kwa pamoja tufanye kazi kwa pamoja. Ili kazi ya mwananchi wa kawaida kama alivo sema ndugu yangu mwenye kiti. Mm -hmm. Iwe ni kazi ya kuripoti jambo ambalo halifai kwa sababu tumejua na tumesikia madhara ya lioko katika mazingira na katika hali yetu ya maisha. Asante na. sana lili. Sekunde 30 tukufunga upande wako hasa kuhifadhi mazingira ambayo yako katika bahari yetu hii. Uh, sisi kama WWF tunasema we will fund innovative solutions towards plastic pollution. Kisha tunasema tuta market products zambazo zinakuwa recycled from waste products na tunasema watu watumie reusable plastic bottles. Hizi naona kila mtu hapa kuna chupa yake ya maji. Lakini kila mtu akiwa na yake binafsi change will start with you. Asante. Asante ni sana nyote kwanza kwa wageni wetu ambao wamefika hapa nasema shukran za dhati maswali ambayo umeyauliza bila shaka ameza na kiliwa vema kabisa huyu bwana hapa ni mmoja watu ambao anaandika sana masuala ya mazingira kwa hiyo amepata mawili matatu na ni njia ambazo utakazosaidia katika kuboresha zile sera ambazo tuko nazo asante sana daktari Muli lili pia shukran sana lili mwasi kwa kuweza kufika kutoka shirika la WWF daktari Moniki tunafurahi sana kutoka Netfund pia kwa kuweza kufika na kuzungumzia mawili matatu mwenye kitu wa bodi ya neema ambaye ni John Conchela anasema asante sana kwa kuweza kufika vile vile bila kumsahau mwana mazingira Isaac Kalua kwa kuweza kufika siku hii ya leo tunasema asante ni sana kwa nyote manake nyinyi ndio mmefanya kuwezesha uh, mada hii ya leo kuweza kusikia zile changamoto ambazo zimetoweza kutolewa hapa siku ya leo jambo ambalo limetoka moja kwa moja kutoka kwa kauli zenu na zinasaidia katika masuala ya kuboresha zile sera zilizoko na vile vile kutoka county nasema asanteni sana pia kwa kuweza kufika siku hii ya leo hatuna la ziada ise asanteni sana kwa wote ambao wametazama huu ndio mwanzo hiki ni kipindi cha transform kenya ambacho kitakuwa kikija kuangazia masuala ambayo anaoibuka katika jamii leo ikiwa ni siku ya mazingira ulimwenguni tumeamua tuanze na guu hili la mazingira hususan katika maeneo haya ya kwale na tuweze kuzungumzia mawili matatu kuweza kubadilishana mawazo na kuangazia ile sera zilizoko na ni vipi tunaweza kuboresha uh, marufuku hii kupitia kauli za wananchi ambao wamekuwa hapo wakizungumzia changamoto mbali mbali kwa niaba ya wasimamizi wakuu katika shirika la The Standard Group aise nasema asanteni sana kwa nyote ambao umetuweza kutusaidia yani ili kufanikisha ya kipindi hiki kwa mara ya kwanza siku hii ya leo hiki kipindi kitakuwa kikiendelea na tutakuwa tunawajulisha kupitia mitandao kupitia uh, sehemu zetu ambazo tunapeana taarifa kwa wananchi tutakuwaelezea kwa makini na kwa wepesi